Hi guys, how you all doing? I hope you're all well. Okay, so um, I just wanted to have a bit of a chat, really, about a few things, you know, keep your day to with what's going on at the moment. Okay, so first of all, I am aware that I haven't posted anything in a while and I haven't been posting any karaoke covers and I'm sorry for not keeping you updated. However, I have got a couple of karaoke covers planned for today, so please feel free to stay tuned in for that. I'd love to hear what all you guys think. Okay, second of all, um, I just want to take the time to um to say thank you to all of the people who have subscribed to my YouTube channel so far. I know I'm only still a small cover artist on YouTube at the minute. I've only got about 40, 41 subscribers, but still, it means a lot to me that if it still means a lot to me that you know you've all given me a chance and taken an interest in my channel. Some of you already know me because you're a friend of the family or friends or friends of the family. So to you, I just want to say thank you for sharing my covers. Thank you for all your comments. And, you know, just, yeah, just thank you for your suggestions as well. I also want to say thank you to my international fans because I'm aware I have a few who international fans from, I think, America and I think one from India. Because they found me as seen seeing as they found me through the YouTube comment section of music videos because I do also self-promote my channel on music videos as well of songs that I've covered so you know I'll write a comment and I'll say you know I've just done a cover of this feel free to check it out etc and you know what though being new to YouTube being new to YouTube I have noticed that promoting your channel isn't as easy as you might think it is I have noticed that for me I have got I have been ignored a lot whenever I've shared I've tried sharing my channel I've tried sharing my channel on Facebook groups tried promoting it on YouTube I mean I, d I don't know about anyone else's I mean this is just my experience I don't know about anyone else but for me I've just been ignored so I just want to say you know thank you to you because you know what there was a time I would say about a month ago or something I was actually ready to quit YouTube and stop making videos altogether because at the time I wasn't gaining many subscribers you know I wasn't my, I wasn't gaining many subscribers no one was viewing my views I mean and don't get me wrong I don't do this just for views and sub I don't get I don't do this just for views and subscribers I mean I mainly do I mainly do this because it's what I enjoy but to be fair what good is a YouTube video what good is a YouTube video is no one's gonna watch it and to be fair, I mean, you know, I want to be a singer when I grow up. So, you know, I want to get into the music industry. So this is something I'm getting really serious about at the moment. And, you know, I mean, you know, if, you know, like, how do I put, how do I put this? You know, if my YouTube channel can help me get into the music industry, because let's face it, there's been a few, there's been a few famous singers there's been a few famous singers who um who got famous off doing YouTube covers. So, you know, if if it could be the same for me, that would be amazing, which is why I'm so serious about this. So, yeah, as I said, I was ready to quit. But then all of you guys started subscribing, you know, in such a short amount of time as well. And it just motivated me, got me thinking, well, you know, if I keep trying as hard as I am at the moment, then maybe, maybe one day I'll, I'll reach a bigger audience, which is something I'm planning to do. I want to reach a bit of audience and you know what and not that this is like not that this is well this is kind of related but like you know I can uh, you know if I keep trying hard I could reach my intended goal of a thousand subscribers and I say a thousand because I want to get to a point where I can start sharing you know community posts doing mobile live streams so that I can actually talk to you guys because i can't do that at the moment due to my very small amount of subscribers so that's one of the reasons i want to get to that goal so yeah from now on i'm just going to keep trying i'm going to work hard and that's all that's all thanks to you guys so thank you for that honestly i'm i'm really happy that you're enjoying my content and i really appreciate and i really appreciate all you all your lovely comments okay so another thing i wanted to talk about gcse results now GCSE results are being given out tomorrow and just just a quick update I will be posting I will be posting a video a little video about my GCSE results so um yeah just stay tuned for that if you want I just wanted to talk about them really because I've, ac I've actually been really stressed about them for most of the week 
and it actually it actually started when a college sent the college I'm going to sent me an email about this because basically what happened was um, a few days ago I got a few days ago I think it was I can't I can't remember which day I just know it was a few days ago I got a college I mean eh, I got an email from the college that I'm going to but it was about enrolment and they'd sent me a link they'd sent me a link to a, for an enrolment form so you know I put in my GCSE grades and put in all my personal information and all that stuff like I was doing that but then I real but then I realised that they had me down for the wrong course. You see, I want to do performing arts when I go to college. However, they had me down for music slash music technology, which is really weird because I chose performing arts. Now, I will give them the benefit of the doubt because I've been to a few open days now and one of the, op- and one of the open days I went to, I did originally apply for music slash music technology. However, after looking at the course, I thought I decided actually, no, it's not for me. I'd rather do performing arts instead. So, okay, to be fair, I did originally apply for music, but at the end of the day, I did actually go and get it sorted with a lady on the computer, because there was all this room, I don't know, because there was all this room, and there was like the, there were like these people on the computers, and they were helping out, they were helping out students regarding course information and whatever, so I went up to one of them, and I said, I originally applied for music slash music technology but I want to change to performing arts and they got that all sorted for me so obviously I was a little bit confused as to why they got me down for music slash music technology luckily it's been sorted though because I did contact customer services and the guy and the guy that got back to me said not to not to worry it's only because you originally applied for music blah 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 if you complete the enrollment form don't don't worry not to worry if you complete the enrollment form we can you can automatically change to performing arts, so I'm not too worried about that now. Another thing that's kind of been stressing me regarding GCSEs, I levels. Now I don't know much. I don't know much, but from what I've heard, they completely messed up the I levels last week. Apparently, they downgraded a lot of students, which I think is really unfair because I heard I've heard that apparently they did it based on, like, based on previous work from say last year or the year before or something and actually I think that I think that's really un- I think that's really unfair especially if say your work wasn't as good last year but you've really improved this year but then you got then you got downgraded even though you improved so you know it's not fair on those students who improve so you know I, I do kind of feel for them a bit so anyway because of that I was a bit worried about my GCSE results and I'm just I was just like crap are they going to do the same for our GCSE results as well they're going to downgrade me because to be fair I mean my predicted result I mean luckily though luckily the government did announce a couple of days ago that I think they're only doing it based on predicted grades now so you know they're not taking into account any previous work or anything literally just a predicted grade so I'm a little bit relieved now actually because my predicted grades aren't that bad I do feel bad for the people whose predictive grades aren't that aren't that good though. I will say that. I'm a bit relieved for myself though. So um yeah. That's all I wanted to say really, to be honest. So uh, yeah, as I said I'm gonna be I'm gonna be posting a little bit about my GCC results tomorrow, so as I said, stay tuned in for that. That's all I wanted to say really. Um sorry if I've rambled on or anything for the last nearly ten minutes or so. Anyway, I'm going to go and start working on my karaoke cover and um, I guess I will see you in the next video. Alright then, bye!